All right, so as you get into action step one, revise your marketing material, okay? Firstly, I want you to know, uh, I think a lot of times this can be overwhelming. Uh, you know, we kind of feel like we're playing darts in the dark. I've said a couple of times uh, as church marketers, as pastors who have to know marketing, you know, uh, as essentially a second job while doing your first job, which is, you know, um, discipling people and leading people toward Christ. Action step one here, revise your marketing material. We're going to use the exact same model. It's super boring, but it's super simple. And so just don't feel overwhelmed as we do this. Um, so how this is going to work in each of these action steps, you're going to download the paper. They're going to look very similar because again, the system's the same. You're going to answer the questions. And what you're also going to do when the worksheet prompts you is you're going to open the infographic that's under the action step and you'll see that here as well um, you're going to open that infographic and you're just going to go through the decision tree with each product and each service and essentially that infographic is going to start like this does the product or service meet a deeply felt need or help you know resolve a pain point in your target audience so is it resonating deeply with your target audience if the answer is yes it's super effective people are showing up in droves then great keep the service. That's the decision tree for that part. If the answer is no, we go to the next question. How can it be retooled? How can it be changed to resonate deeply with your target audience? And this question is kind of identifying that, are you trying to talk to everyone? Because if you're trying to talk to everyone, it's like, well, it's a good service that our church offers, or it's a good uh, promotional material thing that our church offers. Uh, however, it's kind of talking to everyone and it's not as effective as it could be. Okay, so in that case, how can you change it to be more effective? And if the answer is no, I can't change it to be more effective, then it's probably a good time to start questioning whether we should continue that service. And then the next question is, what service would be more effective, right? What does your target audience actually want? And so that is how we're going to reorient our entire church and make sure, and maybe there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And maybe there's only just a little bit like, oh, Maybe I'm just kind of trying to talk to everyone and I can just make it a little bit more specific and a little more meaningful and keep everything. Um, maybe you throw one thing out and you keep and retool 10 things or something like that. Maybe you have to throw 10 things out and uh, retool one thing, but either way, but either way, the process for all of these steps is exactly the same. And so for that reason, I'm only going to have one video for the action steps here because the process is quite literally the same for each one. Uh, and you know what, when we're trying to do something really, really complicated, like, uh, or, or not complicated, but even difficult, like getting people to come into our church that we've never met before or, uh, or don't know well, the steps to do it should be simple. And so that is what we, we have strived to do here. So I just want to encourage you, um, you are in the action steps. You are, you brought the theory down to earth and you are taking action and you're doing a great job. And I will see you in the next video after you have put these things to completion. And in that video, we're going to have a brief discussion about what to do if you don't see people responding to the efforts that you've put in place, because occasionally that can happen and we plan for it. I'll see you in the next video.